interpreting and a and printing a cozy spectrum for the Donahue and Pigza research groups. To conclude the series of characterizing NMRs, you will have one that ends in six, and the first four letters are C O S Y, which we will call cozy. Double click and double click to open. You can see that this spectrum does not look like, oh, and there it auto go, automatically goes. It didn't look like what a proton spectrum should look like. All the peaks were really broad and it was kind of ugly looking. Just to make sure it's actually called in the right ones, you can right click and hit external, OK, right click, external, OK. Notice that for both of these, they are proton NMR spectrum and they are the same proton NMR spectrum. This is because COSY shows the correlations between neighboring protons. So on diagonal, we can say, so if you go from here to here, this peak means that, gee, this proton sees itself. Duh. Off diagonal means that this proton signal right here sees, correlates to this one, meaning these two see each other. They're right next to one another. These only show things that are right next to one another. So if you were to draw a carbon bonded to another carbon, that single bond is all that separates the two protons that you see here. So here we see that these two are right next to one another. And if we look closely, we can see that these two aromatic protons are right next to one another. If we look at this structure, well, we have a pair of substituted benzene ring right here. So that explains why they're next to one another here. And a morpholine ring where these sage twos are right next to one another. So we can hit print. And this time we are looking for the 1H underscore cozy. Hit OK. Make sure that these two boxes are where they're supposed to be and hit OK. Pull it up. And make sure that all of our peaks are on the spectrum. On occasion, you may have correlations that go off the edge. What you then do is you click edit. So say I had a proton that was all the way out here at like 8.5. What you would then do is change this maximum value to something a bit higher than that. So we'll say we want to view 9 and hit OK. And you can see that now it's moved everything out nicely to 9 on both spectrum. I don't actually need that, so we'll hit Control Z to undo. And we'll click this because we can notice that these peaks, while they're nice and tall, are intersecting the text, which is not preferable. So we hit 1D, 2D, edit. Just like before, this one will control the size of your cozy peaks. We want some nice small ones, so there we go. And this set of boxes right here will control the spectrum. Again, the only one you should be using is this one right here. Slidey up and down. Get it so it's not intersecting the text. Change it to the left. Make sure that everything's not just shooting off the edge of the page wildly and hit close. From here, we do file export, notebook number, space, cozy and save. OK. And we can go from print. As a reminder, never, ever, ever save changes to the template. Period. Once you've printed your Spectre hard copy and you hit close, it'll ask you to save changes and you say no. This concludes the series of videos on in characterizing and the